Hey, my name is Justin Case, and I want to talk to you about the Helium Network and how things have changed now. Um, if you have a Helium hotspot, most likely you may have had it for a couple years now. Maybe it's still running, still mining for you, but you're a little confused about what's happened. Because when Helium moved over to Solona, uh, they stopped allowing you to mine H&T. So all of a sudden there was a switch over and you don't mine H&T anymore. And instead, these old um, low ra Helium hotspot miners now mine IOT. So that sort of explains the new altcoin that you're seeing and that you're making when you look at your app. And then there is mobile. Now mobile is the altcoin that you get when you use a Helium hotspot that is connected to the 5G network. Now there weren't a lot of these and we're going to talk about them way back in the day. But now they're coming out and now things are changing and now it's worth quite a bit. So before we get into all of that, let's, let's look at these coins for a second. So first of all, there is h &T. You probably have some h &T. You can still convert the h &T, uh, to one of the other altcoins, especially using your wallet directly from Helium. So... Just a little while ago, this was only around $2.58, and now we're almost at $7. And this is getting people interested about getting back into doing helium hotspot mining. Um, but again, you're not mining h and anymore. Now you're either mining IoT or mobile. Now, IoT was uh, just a month ago around 0 0.0007 and now it's at 0 0.002 and this has gotten people again more interested in this but it, not as much as mobile because mobile is worth almost double 0 0.0041 okay more than double 0 0.0041 and way back a month ago it was 0 0.0002 um which to me is interesting because I, I would think it would be worth less, but it's worth more, especially because the circulating supply of mobile is 79.1 billion, 40% of the total supply, whereas IoT is only 23.5 billion, 12% of the total supply. So we'll see where things stand in a few months. I'm hoping this means that IoT is going to jump up. I'm not trading my IoT for mobile quite yet within the app, but, but we'll see. So for most of you, if you got started a couple years back, maybe you have one of these minted gold spots from Rack Wireless, or maybe you have a couple Bobcat Miner 300s. These are low raw miners. They're miners that are designed to send low amounts of data from a long distance. These can go up to 10 miles. And uh, people just weren't jumping on the bandwagon with these as much. In fact, uh, looking at when I first got my demo, I had expected that inside I would see it was going to be using LoRa. But instead, they had a little 5G SIM card inside. And I think that Helium saw this and said, yeah, uh, this is a problem. I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and do something else. I'm going to go into 5G. So, yes, you can still get uh, Helium miners. Uh, that do uh, IoT that are low ra, and you'll still see them for fairly cheap online, like from MappingNetwork.us. But a lot of people have moved forward, and I'll tell you why. They've moved on because if you look, for example, I'm looking at my uh, hex when I look at the Explorer map for Helium, and you can see there were a couple other people around me. They had uh, the standard low ra. Helium Hotspot Miners, and they're offline. Mine's still up and running, and the reason was mine was always doing very well. Uh, if I look at Hotspotty, I will see that it was making, uh, just yesterday, around 1,200, over 1,200 IoT. So I felt I was doing very well with it, never really thought about it much, until I happened to notice that there is another miner next to me, uh, Orbiting Carmine Raccoon, and they, when I checked them out, uh, they were they were getting IoT. They were getting half as much as IoT 
as I was, 600 yesterday. Um, but for mobile, they were getting 3,298. I mean, that's a lot more. So mobile is worth over twice the amount of IoT, and they're making five times more mobile. And this is from the new uh, Wi-Fi hotspot that, uh, that Helium just came out with. This is this is just a little thing in his house. So I, I had to jump on this bandwagon. I got I got very curious about all of this. Um, if we look at the statistics, once again, you'll see another reason for this is because right now there are, if we go down to IoT, we'll see there are 372,581 active hotspots for LoRa, where for 5G, uh, there is only 4,884. So this is going to change drastically right now because as I just mentioned, uh, they are doing everything to get 5G going. Um, basically, uh, Helium has done a flip and said, hey, okay, forget that. HelloHelium.com is now here. We're going to focus on mobile. We are going to get people to get SIM cards. Uh, we're going to give them $20 plans. I don't know what even they're doing on a mass scale for data. Who knows? Um, they're connected with T-Mobile in order to make this happen right now. But they're trying to get off T-Mobile. They're trying to focus on getting you and me to invest and in getting our, basically, our 5G cell towers set up at our houses. So uh, that's the plan right now. They've kind of launched everything focusing in Miami. Uh, but... Things are changing. And the first thing, as I mentioned, that happened was uh, in the last month or so, they released their mobile hotspot for indoor. Basically, with that SIM card, if anybody has one, uh, probably part of uh, T-Mobile as well, it'll offload uh, that, that data network usage onto these indoor hotspots. So these came out, they're in wave two now of shipping. They, they stopped, uh, sorry, shipping, I should say. They're in wave two now where they're going to be shipping next month. I just ordered one last week and it shipped out uh, last night. Uh, again, it was only $249. Figured I'd try it, but long term, these are things for heavy traffic areas. These are not for your house, yet people are making so much uh, mobile in their houses that, yeah, that's that's where it's going right now. My plan, though, I think is, well, I'm Vietnamese and I do know a lot of nail salons here in Denver, so I might be talking to a few people and see if I can get them to put these in their nail salons and uh, maybe, I don't know, pay their internet bill in order for them to do it. We'll see. Uh, still working out some ideas of how I can leverage this. But then there is the outdoor hotspot. Now this is 5G. This doesn't go as far as some systems do, but uh, it's 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 outdoor coverage. Now they're sold out. It was like four ninety nine. I'm waiting for them to come out with this again. Doesn't have quite the distance of some of the older systems that they had set up in the past. But uh, these still look really good, and you can definitely make some good money with them. Uh, now, that being said, if you forget uh, helium.com slash explore, you can go to planner.hellohelium.com, and you can just see, like here... These are these are using what's known as for these cell towers as we call them. They're they're CBRS radios, and as you can see, it says there's 6,814 online as well as 962 of the Wi-Fi radios, which are the indoor miners I was just talking about. So uh, going back to where I live, I can see the dude. I can see how small his system is as compared to. Uh, other people's, which lets me know he has one of those little indoor ones. Um, but it's making some good money, so definitely worth looking at to invest in. Uh, hey, jump on that Wave 2 right now. I mean, you can buy it and it'll get here in January, so why not? Like I said, I want to wait for some of these outdoor ones, want to test these out too, but I did buy an indoor, so uh, definitely going to let you know how both of them work out for me. Now, all of that said, there are new miners coming out for this. Minted is coming out with their own, uh, as you can see right here. But, I mean, these are expensive. 
Uh, this one right here, if you go to Rack Wireless, you'll see they're trying to charge 3 thousand five hundred i mean that's a huge difference in price compared to the 499 i talked about the 249 i talked about uh even the low raw miners from back in the day so i don't know if people are gonna buy into this uh there's also um there's also bobcat bobcat uh the bobcat 500 or the bobber 500 as they call it right now uh that will also mine uh mine mobile it's also a cell tower uh looks expensive and i don't really trust uh based off of the the um, distances that i measured i don't i don't trust their antennas uh, if you're gonna go uh with a good antenna that does really well i would say go back to freedom five freedom five was here a couple years ago uh everybody talked about it hey 5g we're all excited and then you know things kind of died with helium so so a lot of people dropped it and even then some of them had just the gateways they didn't have what they needed to make it work outside which is the cbrs uh cells that's what you need um so these are all still out there still available uh still worth looking into and as you can see they can make you good money. I am going to try the Freedom Fi because when I looked it up, now here's the other thing I'll mention. When I looked it up, I looked it up under Helium here, under 5G uh, Rack Wireless, and that's when I first noticed uh, that it says about that uh, cell that it does 2.5x rewards, meaning compared to uh, like the system that is part of Bobber, bobcat um you're gonna get even from them uh way more rewards so between i'm gonna i did my research when you go to uh the planner.hellohelium.com you can click on the planner section and you can uh, do some tests here to figure out uh what kind of area the cell tower will be able to hit as well as then uh, what kind of proof of coverage rewards you're going to get. Now, there's also data transfer rewards. We're not even talking about that right now because I don't know if the network is really at a point for that. But uh, proof of coverage rewards, uh, you'll see, and then you can click on the dollar sign. It'll show you basically what it is per day. So this is, this is a breakdown of a 24-hour period. Uh, but as you can see, it's a lot, and this is based off of the Freedom Fi right here. I've done a couple tests. I don't know why. I'm just going to mention this right now. If you if you mess with this and create a plan, I don't know why there's so many antenna options here. I mean, yes, we know the mobile hotspot indoors. Obviously, that'll work. Uh, the Moso Lab. Uh, CBRS indoor and Freedom Fight. Yeah, that one is true. Uh, the mobile hotspot outdoor, uh, that's the one that's $4.99 that I'm hoping to get. But all of these KP performance ones, as well as KPPA and Antel, none of those can connect to anything that I'm aware of at this point. So I'm a little confused about how that relates. Uh, I would love for someone to explain it to me. Uh, if you do know, please feel free to add it into the comments. But uh, basically from all of these, what you have are the two best performing ones, which is the Moso Lab Default Outdoor. That's the one that Bobber is offering with their system. And then there is the uh, Basel Nova 430 default outdoor, which is the one that Freedom Fi offers with theirs. And just as a point of fact, Freedom Fi is actually now owned by Helium. Uh, Helium uh, bought their Nova Labs, and so all of their other hotspots and uh, outdoor hotspots are all now made by Nova Labs. So it's basically Freedom Fi. Okay, if you like information like this, I'm done. Please like and subscribe, and uh, you have a great day.